First and foremost, it's a problem that is costing the MTA hundreds of millions in dollars, and the issue of toll evaders is only getting worse. So how do they fix the problem? Well, today they turn to ideas from other cities to try to get ideas about changing the actual turnstiles. Lauren Glassberg has more from the newsroom. Lauren. Right, so Michelle and David picture turnstiles with high plexiglass doors that make it impossible to hurdle or duck under. That is one option, but that's not the only way that people avoid paying fares. Turns out there are all sorts of fare evaders on buses, on subways, even in cars, and it's all costing the MTA. We have found that fare evasion is at crisis levels across the transit system. And when people don't pay the fare, the subway, or at a toll booth, it impacts the quality of mass transit. Our most recent estimates are it's a $700 million a year problem. And we can't put at risk the ability of working class and middle class New Yorkers to get where they need to go. After months of research and site surveys, a blue ribbon panel of New Yorkers is recommending a new approach that includes replacing current turnstiles. On display at Grand Central Terminal today, some options that other cities use and could be implemented here. Additionally, those emergency exit gates may soon have a delay because that's how most fare evaders get through. Already, gate guards have been deployed at 30 stations with the highest incidence of fare evasion. But there's more to recapturing that lost revenue. We're going to pay as much attention to the driver of the Mercedes with the fake plate as we are to the person who's walking through the subway exit gate or the commuter rail rider who is hiding from the conductor. Ultimately, riders need to understand it's a civic duty to pay the fare and that those who cannot afford to do so may qualify for reduced rates through the Fair Fair program. While new turnstiles will solve some of the problems, fare evasion and what to do about it is complicated. And it raises questions about enforcement, but also about equality and affordability. The things that the MTA is intensely focused on making better in New York. Now, any new turnstiles would cost billions of dollars. A bidding process would be required, and discussions with some of those companies have already begun. It is important to note that the panel recommended that criminal prosecution of fare evaders should be reserved only for those serious and persistent offenders.